Hello, Kane Peterson from New Tech here. Uh, the word has gotten out that the version of Skype with NDI support has been released. And so let me show you how you can uh, use this feature. So uh, first of all, uh, you have to be on the right version of Skype. And uh, that version is 8.25, either on Mac or Windows. You can verify your version by uh, clicking the little uh, icon in the upper uh, left corner. Uh, when you get into this uh, menu here, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says About. Click on this and it will give you your Skype version. So 8.25.0.5 or higher uh, should have the support. Um, if you're not on that version, go to skype.com and download it. It does have to be the desktop version of Skype, not the, uh, the Windows Store version of Skype. That version will not do it. So go to skype.com, download and install this version of Skype to get it. Once you've got it installed, uh, we have to turn on NDI support. It is not on by default, and it is a little bit buried to find the setting, but once you know where it's at, it's not too bad. So to, to get to that setting, again, click on the uh, your little picture icon uh, in the interface here. Uh, go to the calling option, and then uh, in this window, click on advanced, and right here where it says allow NDI usage, you'll see a little switch you can use to, uh, to switch that on. Uh, so once you've got that on, now when somebody calls in, the system will create an NDI channel of output that you can then pull uh, into another system on here. So let, let me show you a little example here. I'm going to move this over here to the, to the side. I'm going to pull up my talk show system here and call from my talk show into my uh, desktop Skype channel here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it. You can see it. An I'll answer over here. And... Let me mute the audio just so it's not talking over us. But that is video coming from my talk show. It happens to be just a clip I'm playing in there. And of course, there's me up in the corner. That's the video going back to my uh, talk show system. Now to see this NDI channel, let's pull up uh, NDI Studio Monitor. Uh, click the icon in here. And under my laptop, you'll see Skype and in my Skype user. And I'll select that. And there you can see the same video that's coming in on Skype now appearing uh, as an NDI source with audio you can see the audio bouncing in there there is no little return feed of the uh, the user picture in there so it's a nice full screen uh, clean Skype output other than the Skype logo which is a requirement that you have to have the Skype logo on there for Skype calls and there you go uh, this is currently output only so you can output Skype uh, from here to uh, feed video in it still has to come in by a webcam uh, but you can install NDI tools 3.5 on a Windows computer and that will install the NDI virtual camera and then you could feed in an NDI channel through NDI virtual camera into Skype and that will get you a, a two-way uh, Skype call. Um, I'll just finish up with, uh, there might be some questions on, you know, what does this version do that talk show doesn't do and vice versa and stuff. You know, talk show, uh, of course, is a multi-channel solution with our, our, our four channel one or two channels in a, um, uh, a TriCaster TC1 or VMC. Um, there are some additional controls though in talk show, like controlling where the Skype logo is. We can turn off all the audio processing. We do have a centralized interface for controlling multiple channels of Skype. So if you're doing, trying to do multiple users, instead of you having to manage each channel independently, I can have uh, multiple channels of Skype in this window, managing up to 14 channels at once. Um, there's also stuff for like uh, setting up a return feed, uh, still feed if uh, if the quality drops below a certain point and seeing what resolution you're getting and how they're holding the phone and all that kind of stuff so there's definitely things talk show still does offer but uh, as you can see here this will get you kind of that core experience of just getting a Skype call out as an NDI feed so hopefully you find this useful and thank you